Bring you guys back and look at the cabinet again. Did some more sanding. Tried to get some more of the uh, paint or stain off of the cabinet itself. Some of that has seeped down into the grain. So you can see the uh, deepness of the grain. I think that's going to pop real nice. I'm actually going to use a stain instead of a toner lacquer. And I wanted to start out using some of my uh, fruit wood after I put some uh, pre-stain on to cut down on some of the blotchiness. Again, this will be very rustic looking when I'm done. So it should definitely uh, look its age, but uh, better than uh, the condition that I found it in. So I'll go ahead and do this off camera, get the uh, pre-stain on, and then within a couple hours or less, I'll apply the uh, fruit wood, and then I can get some darker stain as well that I may apply. And I think the center area where the grill is, I'll probably end up doing it a little darker. So uh, time will tell on that. Just applying some of the pre-stain now. Again, the uh, cabinet's definitely going to look uh, very rustic and old. Already looking better. I'll let this soak in for about 15 minutes and then I'll wipe it down. I've got the stain stirred up well. I'm going to go ahead and apply it now. After applying the fruit wood, let that sit on there for about 15 minutes, wiped it off. I went back with some special walnut just to uh, darken it up just a bit more and get rid of some of the uh, reddish hue. And you can see the stain is still wet. I'm just letting it um, stay on the cabinet for about another 10 minutes or so. Then I'll wipe it off with a clean cloth. Then we'll take a closer look at it outside. 